as the years pile up. We like to think of them piling up, that we've gained something. But actually what they're measuring, of course, is the amount of time that's passed away and gone. You can't call it back. All you have left from the time that's passed is the results of the actions you did during that time. When we think about this, it reminds us that what we're doing right now is really important. The time itself will pass, will pass. But our decisions, our choices, those will last for a long time. So we're to make good ones. And don't underestimate the power of even a short meditation like this. Sometimes in just in a few minutes you can gain an insight or you can understand something you didn't understand before. Or at the very least get some control over the wild horses of the mind. So they're pulling you off in all directions. Because every time you breathe in, breathe out, the Buddha said, if you remind yourself, okay, this could be my last breath, what can I do with it? I've got this much time, at least this much time to practice. And I can do a lot. And then see what you can do. Because the insights, when they come, don't come with an announcement beforehand. And sometimes they can be very quick and sudden. Things you don't expect. Especially during a short meditation like this, the mind has been wandering around, and now you're going to get it to stay in one place. And you'll see that it still wants to move here and move there. And if you can catch why it wants to move, you've gained an insight. You can see, oh, this is how the mind forces itself around. So try to give the mind a good, solid place to stay, because that's how you can see these things clearly. Otherwise, we're like boats out on a river. Your boat is moving along with the current, somebody else, somebody else's boat is moving along. You look around, everything is moving on the water. The water itself is moving. So where are you going to find a point of reference so you can see, well, who's really moving and in which direction are they going? You have to look in the bank. And this is what the breath meditation provides you with. It gets a point of reference so you can see the movements. Are you moving in a good direction or a bad direction? As the Buddha has you ask, days and nights fly past, fly past. What am I becoming right now? Well, you become in line with your actions. What sort of person are you becoming right now? And this is where birthdays and New Year's and other events like this are good, because you can start thinking back to where were you last year at this time, and what's the difference between now and then. You can take stock of things. And if you see you're moving in a direction you don't want to go, you can change. That's the important lesson in all this, is that we can change. As the Buddha said, if we couldn't change our thoughts and words and deeds, there'd be no point in teaching us, no point in practicing. But we can change. And we're never too old to change, never too old to do good with our minds, do good with our thoughts, good, do good with our deeds and our words. So to stop and take stock, and remember, you've got a moment right now where you can practice. The moment will pass, but the decisions you make, those will last. So make sure they're the kind of things you want to last. Make sure they're good and skillful. <laughs>